Dear colleagues, this is a case of hyphema. The blood clot has covered almost one third of the anterior chamber and the clot has settled inferiorly, that is at 6 o'clock. In such cases, we can either continue conservative treatment, but as soon as this blood clot starts disintegrating, there is tremendous rise of intraocular pressure and I think there is a lot of damage to the optic nerve. So, in such cases, we can, in the early stage itself, before the clot starts disintegrating, we can surgically remove this clot. This hyphema has occurred two days back and we have taken up this case for surgery after controlling the intraocular pressure by anti-glaucoma medications. And here it is. I'm placing the incision at 9 o'clock just posterior to the limbus on the sclera and I'm making a tunnel starting from the sclera and going into the clear cornea and this is a very nice tunnel and I've asked for a Simcoe cannula let us see if we can remove it with a Simcoe cannula what I'm doing is I'm dislodging this clot and I'm engaging it with the wound and depressing the posterior leaf but it doesn't come out so the width of this clot is more than 2.8 millimeter and it is not coming out so I have to enlarge the main incision so I've asked for the keratomachine and here it goes I'm enlarging the main incision to about 3.5 millimeter we can enlarge up to 4 millimeter which will not require suture if we start the incision from the sclera and now here it is the, the clot is engaged the posterior lip is depressed and it comes out and there are some little blood which is there it is being removed washed out that's it the surgery is done and the, I have followed up this case and the patient did very well in the next day did very well after one week and now the patient is very fine the intraocular pressure gets controlled immediately and didn't require any anti medication from the next day now I'm hydrating the corneal stroma on either side of the wound for better sealing of the wound and I've used Figamox that is moxifloxacin for hydrating the wound and now I'm forming the anterior chamber again and feeling the intraocular pressure I find that it is good there is no leakage from the wound so if we want to manage such cases surgically this is the way without depending on medical treatment we can very well manage such cases surgically in this way thank you very much for watching